mi chiamo Adriano Deiana e vivo qui da sempre. Prima di me ci pescava mio padre e anche mio nonno. Tutti peschiamo per, per guadagnare da mangiare, e non possiamo non pescare. Purtroppo adesso si pesca pochissimo, una volta si pescava tanto. Adriano's family have been fishing for European eel in Sardinia since 1952. Adriano is only one of the few hundred fishers across the Mediterranean who rely on eel as a source of income and livelihood. He, along with many others, has witnessed the drastic decline that eel local stocks have undergone in all eel habitats. The situation is so dire that experts assessed the status of the species as critical, and the International Union for Conservation of Nature listed European eel as critically endangered. European eel has a truly extraordinary life cycle. After hatching in the Sargasso Sea in the Caribbean, eel larvae cross the Atlantic, drifting in the Gulf Stream current for over a year. Once they reach the continental platform, they undergo a metamorphosis to transparent glass eels. At this stage, they enter estuaries, canals and lagoons making their way to upper river stretches and lakes, with a distribution range from the Mediterranean region to northern Europe. Across the Mediterranean Sea, eel habitat is predominantly coastal lagoons. Eels grow in fresh water for up to 20 years, and when they reach sexual maturity, they descend to coastal waters, travel across the Mediterranean to the Strait of Gibraltar, and back across the Atlantic to the Sargasso Sea, where they spawn and die. All along their colossal migrations, eels face major threats, both environmental and human-induced. Global changes, habitat loss and degradation, pollution, overfishing, illegal trafficking are all major threats to the species. Ci sono tanti fattori che ci hanno portato quasi a, a estinguere l'anguilla. Uno può essere l'inquinamento, l'altro la pesca di frodo, che non è che rispettano molto le regole. Vanno a pescare con, magari con, con dei veleni oppure con, con la batteria, ma pescare tanto e poi portarla al mercato, il pesce, per farcelo pagare eh, un decimo di quello che vale, non è molto intelligente. Ci conviene pescare meno, e probabilmente guadagnare di più. Yüzde 90 azaldı. Yani yüzde 10 miktarı kaldı düşünüyorum. Eskisi gibi bir bolluğu yok. Yolda ne yaşadığını bilmiyorum ama burada e, iklim değişikliği yüzünden mesela lagünlerde tatlı sahazlarındaki hareket ve davranma yeteneklerini değiştirdiler. Mesela eskiden daha derinlerde duruyorlardı. Kışın çünkü soğuk olduğu için böyle derin bölgelere çekiyorlardı ama artık daha çok saz diplerinde duruyorlar. Yani daha sıcak gittiği için iklimler e saz diplerinde durduğu için karabatak türü canlılar daha fazla avlıyor. Yani orada da bir sorun var gibi. These impacts have likely had a cumulative effect driving the eel global stock towards critical status. It's crucial that all the stakeholders, all of them, fishermen, hydropower managers, the authorities regulating both the quality and quantity or the connectivity of coastal lagoons to the sea, it is important that they all work together with the ultimate goals to minimize the threats and remove the obstacle, preventing a significant fraction of their reproductive stock to uh, swim back to the oceans and reach the spawning areas in the Sargasso Sea. The loss of resource and the consequent reduction in catches contribute to significant economic losses for fishers. This is coupled with important losses in the traditional knowledge, management traditions and environmental stewardship that fishers themselves provide and which have proven crucial to maintaining lagoon ecosystems over the years. The challenge, therefore, needs to be addressed both at the global level by identifying solutions towards the recovery of the eel population and at the local level by determining concrete actions required in each specific situation. The problem of the lagunas in the littoral, where the anguilla is developed in greater measure in the Mediterranean, Está, eh, se produce una pérdida de productividad porque entran cada vez menos angulas y la calidad de estas lagunas eh, está disminuyendo 
por la presencia de nutrientes en exceso, por la presencia de eh, metales, por la presencia de pesticidas. En consecuencia, eh, lo que hay que trabajar es por mantener la calidad de estos hábitats, reduciendo la entrada de contaminantes, reduciendo eh, la presión de pesca, incrementando la eh, conectividad eh, y sobre todo la calidad del agua eh, en estos hábitats. The critical situation calls for urgent protection and a coordinated management strategy for the recovery of the species. That's why the General Fisheries Commission for the Mediterranean ran a dedicated research program on European eel in nine Mediterranean countries. The program collected data on management and protection measures for stock recovery at the national and local levels, as well as information on eel habitats, on the biological features of local stocks, and on eel fisheries and aquaculture. This provided the basis for a multi-annual management plan for European eel fisheries in the Mediterranean Sea, recently adopted by the GFCM members. The results of the research program highlighted that despite the impacts of fishing, fishers are the guardians of these habitats and can actively contribute to their conservation, benefiting eel and all other living resources. Collaboration between fishers and scientists could provide a winning strategy through exchanges of knowledge on the eel resource and its environment, as well as cooperation for long-term monitoring and joint implementation of measures for stock recovery. Un altro elemento diciamo, di originalità che nasce proprio dall'approccio della Commissione del GSM è che vogliamo farlo con i pescatori, nel senso che si tratta di tutelare una risorsa, ma si tratta anche di tutelare delle attività economiche che naturalmente dovranno in qualche modo ridimensionarsi, ma questo in realtà è già successo di fatto, perché se la risorsa è rara, di fatto l'attività è già ridimensionata. Io penso che non si finisce mai di imparare, dunque quando lavori a contatto con dei, dei ricercatori ti insegnano tante cose che noi ne vediamo tante stando a contatto con la natura, sì, però molte cose tecniche non le sappiamo, ecco, a contatto con queste persone si imparano tantissime cose. بالنسبة لجماعة البحث العلمي يجيو تلامذة في هم داسيوة تلامذة سيوة من عشر شنوة اللي معاهم هذوما اللي يقريوا في جماعة البحث العلمي هذوما فهمني دخلوهم للماء نجدوا لهم عينات متاع الحنشة باش يخدموا عليها باش يقراوا عليها بالنسبة للبحارة البحارة كانوا متعاونين فرحانين بالكوجيستيون هذي نعملناها ونينا نخدوا دي ساتستيك Going forward, the GFCM will expand on the research program through a second phase, which will further explore the possibility of management models adapted to local realities. It will also undertake a socio-economic study on eel fisheries in the Mediterranean. Establishing a regional monitoring network and involving joint efforts of fishers and scientists could be a key tool to help assess the state of the eel stock and the impacts of current and future management measures. Adjustments may be required in the short term, but the ultimate ambitious goal is to ensure the conservation of this iconic species and the preservation of the heritage and artisanal fisheries of coastal communities all over the Mediterranean. Il nostro interesse è salvaguardare questi posti. Se se non li salvaguardiamo, poi dovremmo cercarci un altro lavoro. Se ci piace un altro lavoro.